I'm Bram van der Borg, Professor of Robotics at the University of Brussels and affiliated with IMIC, and I'm coordinator of SMART, the European Marie Curie Innovative Training Network, in which we host 15 early stage researchers or PhD students. And they're coming from material sciences or from robotics, but we wanted also that they collaborated well, and that's why we made internships or secondments. That meant that the material scientists had to go in a robotics lab or the opposite uh, way. And so that's how all the different researchers worked very closely together and crossed the different disciplines. I come from a biomedical engineering or an engineering background and my knowledge of materials in particular was very limited. I didn't know what a self-feeling material was or that a material could be self-feeling. So like from, from the get-go, um, the, the entire thing looked like a bit sci-fi, a bit a bit out of reach and thanks to SMART and especially thanks to all the mobility that SMART allowed us to have between institutions um, I was able to, to go to EMPA and to find out and to actually learn a lot of stuff that now I can take back in the world of robotics and, and arguably be a better roboticist. Sustainable self-healing materials aim to substitute a large number of objects that we're using currently in our daily life. The materials that car tires or even bicycle uh, tires are made of are chemically impossible to recycle. And that's a huge issue because in the end, all these tires end up in a landfill or burn. So that's a catastrophe. Thanks to the intrinsic properties of these sustainable self-healing materials, we would be able to recycle them, degrade them. So we have 15 PhD students who also have to learn transferable skills, how to bring their research results to the economy and to uh, the society. Because a big part of the education is to see how we can apply that research towards society and companies. And that's why they get transferable skills on patents, scientific writing, but also science outreach and pitching towards companies. And that's why we have the fair to showcase with demonstrators what we developed and how it's relevant for the companies. And then we also want to inform the general public about the research results we obtained. Another interesting point I found upon this project is it also emphasizes on the way from the research to industry. And uh, thanks to, for example, like the pitch training and also the other training event, I also learned the way to do the commercialization and I think this is very interesting. I improved a lot talking in public, presentations and all these things. Also like leadership, I would say like I've been in charge of several master students or uh, other students. So my research is about uh, self-healing uh, supramolecular materials that have the abilities to heal at room temperature. What excites me about this project is that we can see how the materials we develop have this self-healing ability and how we can see it. And the fact that how people thought this was a futuristic uh, approach to science, well, it is actually what's already happening. I think these uh, materials interest a lot to companies because they uh, can lower costs by not having to replace the materials every time. I think it's also good for the environment because we don't waste as many plastics into the, in, uh, into the environment and also uh, we can tailor the material to the specific needs of the companies. The researchers with their backpack of research skills and transferable skills will or choose more an academic career and go for more fundamental or applied research, or others will go to companies to see how the research results can really be integrated in a company solution.